In this video, I'm going to show you how to play the math game Fishing for 10. The goal of this game is to make combinations of 10. Here's what you need to play this game at home. A deck of cards with the kings, queens, jacks, and jokers set aside, or you can make your own number cards. If you choose to make your own, you can make four each of the numbers zero through 10. You also need at least one partner. After you shuffle the deck, each partner gets five cards. Now that we each have our five cards, the first thing we need to do is check for any pairs that make 10. You see I have an ace in my hand, and since there isn't a one in a deck of cards, the ace can be used as the number one. So with that being said, do you see any pairs that make 10, two numbers that add up to 10 in my hand? Right, since an ace is one, we can say nine plus one equals 10. When you get a pair, you take those cards out of your hand and put them right down on the table in front of you, just like this. Now, I only have three cards, but I always want to have five, so I need to pick up two more cards. Now, do I have any pairs that make 10? I know that five plus five equals 10 because that's also a doubles fact. I'll take out my five and five and place it down in front of me. I also see that eight plus two equals 10. So I can take those cards out as well and add them to my collection of pairs that make 10. Here is my collection so far. Now I need to pick up four more cards so that I still have five cards in my hand. Do I have any pairs that can make 10 now? Nope, it doesn't look like it. Teddy didn't have any pairs yet, so now we can start asking questions. What I want to do is look at the numbers I have in my hand. I want to be able to make 10, so I have to ask Teddy if he has any cards that can help me make 10. I'm gonna start with this card here, the three. Three plus what equals 10? Right, three plus seven equals 10. So I'm going to ask Teddy if he has a seven to match with my three. Teddy, do you have any sevens? It looks like Teddy did have a seven. So I get to take that, match it with my three, and put it down in my collection in front of me because seven plus three equals 10. Now it's Teddy's turn to ask a question. He asked me, Miss Kantz, do you have a four to pair with my six? Look at my cards, it doesn't look like I do. So I'm going to say, no, I don't have a four, Teddy, go fish. So he gets to take a card from the deck and add it to his. Now he's going to check to see if he has any pairs to make 10. Teddy did not pick up a four so he didn't have a pair to put down in front of him. Next would be my turn to ask Teddy for another card. Again, I would look in my deck and see what number I could ask him for. Keep taking turns back and forth and try to get as many pairs that make 10 as you can. 
You can keep playing until all of the cards in the deck have been used. I hope you have fun playing Fishing for Ten.